just for you. We're gonna take a ride through Pine Creek Cove Campground. Welcome to Dude RV. We have traveled north across the Red River into the great state of Oklahoma and we are camped out on Pine Creek Lake. And we have driven to the other side of Pine Creek Lake to get this video footage just for you. We're going to take a ride through Pine Creek Cove Campground on Pine Creek Lake. We got Little Red, got the camera, I got you. So let's go for a ride. Cue the music. Here on the right, you'll see that they have a new restroom facility. That's also where your dump station is. We're gonna head over to the day use area first and then cruise through some of the camping loops and finish up at the foot of the dam. Got to watch these cars. Now here on the right, you'll see we've got a brand new horseshoe pit and a bean bag cornhole game. And that is absolutely the first time I have ever seen a Corps of Engineers softball field. There may be others, I've just never seen one. those beautiful pine trees. There's actually a restroom up in there. Now, as in all Corps of Engineer campgrounds, no beverages containing alcohol are allowed in the day use area. Alcohol and swimming don't mix real well. They have a very large beach here in Pine Creek Cove Recreation Area and a brand new play structure. So when the kids get tired of swimming, they can go play on this structure. There's a, I believe there are four loops. I know there's three full loops and kind of a dog bone looking thing. Most of the campsites in Pine Creek Cove are really nice. Uh, there are a few that are not, and we'll, I'll show you those. It is July 9. 2020, we are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so all over these campgrounds are signs reminding you to maintain social distancing. opinion where we're headed now is the least desirable camping loop in Pine Creek Cove. If you look at this park on Google satellite images, this is all underwater. Now I'm going to go against the flow of traffic here so you can get a good look at these sites.
these are all waterfront but they're on these berms they're electric only community water in the middle but you're right on the water sites over here on our right that I'm going to zip through. I, I really like the way they're laid out. They don't have a whole lot in the way of shade though, so they wouldn't be an optimum for summer camping. But they all have, two of the three have a great view. This one right here, I really like that one. All right. Where we're headed to next, we just might get lucky and see a, a, a few deer on that street. I saw, when I was doing the scouting run, I encountered three deer jumping through the woods. Fortunately, they were running parallel to the road not across the road. Because I don't think Little Red would fare too well in a deer encounter. A little pretty little stretch of road right here. deer are right out in there somewhere. I don't see them now. Too bad. The roads in this park for the most part are very, very good. There are some rough spots. And here is boat ramp number one of two, courtesy dock which they have three courtesy docks in this campground. One of those three courtesy docks looks like it's sinking. We have more electric sites, gravel pads there. These, I think six sites have all, all have concrete pads. Um, in my opinion, these are the three best sites in the campground right here. And I'll pop a map up for you so you'll know where it is. It's nice and cool back in these trees. Temperature today is in the upper 90s, pushing 100. And with the heat index, it's probably 105 degrees. Quite stifling. Don't see the deer.
One more camping loop to go. A little rough spot in the river there. Our eyes open for them deer. The dam on this lake is kind of interesting in that it, it, right now it looks like it's just holding back a small amount of water. But when it's flooded, then it really looks like a dam you'd see in the flatlands of Texas. Last camping loop here on the left. Sites are would all most of these would be considered ADA compliant as well. So if you're mobility challenged, this is the loop you'd want to be in. take a look at and then you'll get a good shot of the the dam for Pine Creek Reservoir. There's a courtesy dock and a two-lane boat ramp. There's the dam. So we're gonna see if we can get some footage from the top of the dam for the experiential video ah, that's a nice little patch of shade right there it'd be perfect for closing out oh right. and those are always just so much fun hey i, I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride with me pine creek reservoir hey if you enjoyed our ride through the, the COE campground here at Pine Creek Cove, click on that thumbs up. Share me across your social media. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, remember to hit the subscribe button down there and click that bell as well. You don't want to miss another production from Dude RV. I post new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. For those of you who have been along for the ride, thank you so very much. I'm, I'm truly honored. Uh, that you find me worthy of your time. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>